Good morning, Mayor Viss. In Nook Tits, it's Wednesday, January 31st, 1028 AM. Shall we get started? Hell yeah, baby. Welcome to day four. Um, yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt I wore on day three because I'm recording these two on the same day. Short intro from Isabel because today, I forgot that's what I was wearing. Oh my God. <laughs> Today's day four. There's nothing too crazy going on. Ooh, but to start off, we got some letters, right, from the campground. You already saw those, so I'll open those later. Um, I got a letter from your mom, though. Why is your mom sending me a letter? What's going on there? Dear Vis, I can't help but be a bit nervous about your first solo journey. I'm sending you something to help you along. I'll try not to worry. Thanks, mom. Shout out to moms that are good to their children. Uh, what does your mother give you? I don't remember. She gives you a classic. Hey, I literally just said the classic item. Oh my God, mom, mom coming in clutch. Didn't I just say like back, back in like day one, the classic couch is one of my favorite items in the game that was removed. <gasps> I'm not coming in clutch as she should. Wait, I have to display the couch. I love that couch so much. I don't know where to put it. Sorry to jitters, but I'm going to have to get rid of, <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of his. Wait, actually, like, I have a few good items in here. Y'all mind if I just do some redecorating real quick? Let's put the cla- Oh my god, I don't know how to speak. I'm gonna get rid of this. The classic sofa. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I wanna put it back here. It's cute, like so. I also have the retro TV in my pockets. I just remembered that. That's why I was like, I wanna do some redecorating because I wanna put that, that TV out on display. I don't have a table for it yet. So for now, um, I guess it's just gonna have to go on the ground <laughs> off centered from the couch, sadly, cause you can't put it in the middle, which is annoying, but whatever. I have a cactus in my pockets as well. I would love to put that out like so. And we'll, we'll put the little chihuahua right behind. Why not? That's a cutie. The cutie deserves to be out on display. Yes. Uh, everything else is gonna go into storage for now. Do I have any tables in my thing? I have a ranch dresser. Actually, I think I could use the ranch dresser because that kills two birds with one stone. If it's big enough. I hope it's big enough. Oh. Um, if the ranch dresser is too wide, too wide, not T-O-O wide. Yes, I think you can put the TV on top of it. Yeah, okay, that works a lot better. And then you can just open up the dresser and use it like a dresser. Okay, all right, let's just put everything else away for now. Um, Yippee, okay, that's cute. This is cute, it's coming along nicely. Actually, I'm gonna move this because I want to put this in the in the corner. I want this to be like right above. Yeah. <laughs> just so there's some symmetry, you know, just to look cute. Okay. That's it. This is my house. It's coming along. I think for a starter home in the game when you don't have a lot of items, this is definitely cute. Cute so far. We've been pretty lucky with the items we're getting. So good for me. Anyways, it is now day four. Monique is right over here. Hello, Miss Monique. How you doing? We didn't see her yesterday. So Let's chat, baby. Have you ever seen an Aurora? Oh my God, do you have nothing else you wanna talk about? Like literally the last time we talked to her, she was like, oh my God, have you ever heard of an Aurora before? And now we're doing that again? Girl, say something fun. Say something cool. This, how do I look today? Oh my God. Here we go, it's day four and we're already getting the repetitive dialogue. Monique, you disappoint me. Ooh, our fruits are finally back. Oh my gosh, so we can pick those out and sell them. That's fun. I think once again, we're just gonna go fossil hunting and like catch up with our villagers. Here's Miss Gladys right over here. Monique came over to my house the other day and forgot something. Oh, so Monique's very social with you, just not me. Okay, so Monique hates me and she wants me to die. Good to know. Would you mind giving it to her for free? Um, girl, she's like literally right over there. But, oh, <laughs> she's literally right there. Miss ma'am, Miss ma'am, are you serious? You probably spent all morning looking for her. And when you finally gave up and asked for help, that's when Monique decided to show. Well, you know what? Let's just take care of it right away. We actually can get like a proper conversation with Monique now. We have a reason to talk to her here. I don't know why Gladys wrapped up the gift 
wrapped up the item that you left at her house, but sure. Wait, this is something I lost. What is it? It's a shirt. It's my subdued print tee. I thought I'd never see this again. You left a shirt at Gladys's house? Why did you take it off? Interesting. Anyway, thank you, Biss. How about you take this with you for all your trouble? She's giving me a shirt. That style could really suit you. It's an Aurora knit shirt. No, of course. The bitch who's constantly talking about Auroras. Of course she had to give me an Aurora knit shirt. Oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. How fitting. Oh. Interesting color scheme. Um, it's kind of giving Easter, but... Okay. <laughs> sure. Where's Miss Gladys? We have to go tell her. Um, what hap- Hello? Where did she go? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, we have another neighbor moving in. Um, this is now going to be our seventh villager, I believe? Yes, we have six currently. And the seventh villager that will be moving in tomorrow, February 1st, is... Peanut. Oh. Okay. She's cute. Um. Sure. I don't. I don't know. I've had her before. She's fun. Y'all remember we had her on a previous island. Ah, uh, go off. That's the second villager to move by retail. Interesting. I chose to live near retail, and now everybody who's moving in is deciding to live near retail as well. What can I say? I'm a trendsetter. And that's not our money rock. Okay. Where the hell did Gladys go? We have to we have to tell her. She needs to thank us for doing this chore for her. That really wasn't difficult, but still. Hi. Hi, this. What are you up to today? It's a great day to just walk around Nook Tits and take the scenery. So true. Thanks for taking that package to Monique. Did she say anything about it? Um, yeah, she said that she hadn't even realized she left it at my house. She never realized because she was gonna come back to get it later on or just leave it there full time. Gladys, Miss Girl, take the hint. Take the hint. Sahara, hello, Miss Ma'am. I am called Sahara, for that is my name. I come from faraway land. I have many wallpapers for the papering of walls and many carpets for the petting of cars. She's a poet. She should become a rapstress, so true. For 3,000 bells, deal, deal. Yeah, it is nice. Let us travel to your palace swiftly. And once again, in the spirit of New Leaf, uh, let me pick up this weed real quick. <laughs> we have another villager, or I guess in this case, an NPC following us. Hi, we're headed back to our house. So if you've never, you know, seen her in previous games, you might be confused because in New Horizons, you're able to just buy things from her directly. But in this game, as you can see, we have to head back to our house first in order for her to sell things to us. Hmm, I wonder why. Ah, this is your palace, yes? Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing, yes, yes. Now I will accept the payment of the money for 3,000 bells, thank you, yes, okay. So we hand her the bells first and we don't even know what wallpaper or flooring we get. And yeah, we're not gonna know until she puts them up on our walls. She sends, she kicks us out of our own house. <laughs> so unserious, that is so unserious. And she gives us the old wallpaper and flooring and she replaces it with completely unique wallpaper and flooring that you're only able to get through Sahara. So I'm wondering which ones I got this time around. Ooh, there's no rugs in this game, by the way. So she won't be giving us a rug, sadly. Ooh. Okay, so I said you get unique flooring and wallpaper. Um, The wallpaper, I don't think that's unique. I'm pretty sure you can get that from Nook's Cranny. All right, the flooring, what's the flooring called? The sidewalk. <laughs> Thank you for that, Sahara. We got some sidewalk and the old brick wall. Yeah, the old brick wall is not unique. Thank you, but it is cute. I don't think I'm going to put it out now because I prefer the paw print wall, but we'll keep that one for sure. It's good to have. Sahara's just going to chill by our house for the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She'll walk away soon. What shall I do? Like I said, days three onwards, you're kind of really 
left to your own devices. Um, I guess we could like catch up with our villagers. Oh, I have to find my fossils. Oh, here's two things right here, Eric and a fossil. First, let's talk to Eric. Hello. Good evening, Dr. V. Wait a sec, it's not evening at all. Okay, girl, this is two for two, you doing that. That's getting weird. You can always tell the season by what bugs are around. Right now, it's bagworm season. Since we're buddies, would you mind catching one for me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love that in this game, you're the mayor. You are the mayor of this town. Imagine in real life going up to your mayor, the mayor of the town that you live in, if you live in a town, and just asking them to like do something for you. <laughs> Like, I could never. Honestly, I, I admire the boldness of these Animal Crossing villagers. Now, to be fair, though, this is a small town. I mean, the max number of residents you can have is 10. So it's probably a lot easier to socialize with your government in a town like this than, say, like where I live. Um, I don't freaking know anybody from the government <laughs> at my disposal. So... Nah. Oh, there's a bulletin board message. Wait, let's talk about that first. No tits will be setting up a collection gyro. Oh yeah, okay. So if you don't donate to the thing right away, you'll get a bulletin board notice the next day. I usually donate right away. Like I only put down things once I have enough bells to do it. Butch wants to talk to us. Hey, you got a sec, this. It seems some people find me a little intimidating. I guess those wimps think I'm kind of scary. So I was thinking maybe to, maybe I could stand to soften up a bit, you know, change the way I talk to people. Do you think you can help me come up with a, a nicer greeting? Sure, I guess. Butch queen, hey! Butch queen, hey! Am I doing it right? You got it, queen. Hell yeah. Butch queen, hey. <laughs> it definitely will soften him up. That's for sure. Mm-hmm, Butch, we love that for you. Oh my goodness. There's like so... Oh, bagworm. Oh, get the bagworm. Get the fucking bagworm. No, oh my God. Again, controls are so... Eh. Oh, and Butch is here judging me. Oh my gosh, I can't like... Ugh, I have to shake the tree down. Oh my god, shake the fucking tree. Thank you. We gotta like, oh god, bug catching is so like annoying. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got the bagworm. Butch, can you fuck off? Thank you. Oh. Yes. We got a perfect hit this time. All right, we have 24,000 bells though. So we only need 6,000 more to, uh, what, what, what was it for? Oh, right, <laughs> to donate for the bench. So, I mean, like I was gonna head over to Tortimer's Island to get enough bells for that, but, oh fuck. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> I was about to dig it up too. And of course it had to be the pitfall. Ugh, well, thank God nobody saw me. Wow, I didn't think you'd actually bring me one. Give me a little more credit. I'm not that incompetent, sir. Oh, right. Here's a gift to say thanks. Wallpaper, once again, giving Sahara a run for her money. A chic wall. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, Eric. I'm probably gonna sell that, but I appreciate it anyways. <laughs> Bam. Contribute to a campaign to fund a yellow bench. Our target fund is 30,000 bells. We've collected 201 bells so far. Yeah, so in one day, only 200 bells. Um, That's actually a lot more generous than it is in New Horizons. So make of that what you will. But luckily for us, that means we get to save 201 bells because we only need to donate 929.799. Great, I know how to read. <laughs> But thanks to me, the fundraising target of 30,000 bells has been reached. Please look forward to the completed project. Yes! Awesome! The project's donation goal has been met. And just like that, tomorrow, the bench will be completed. And our first official project, project of the new town will be done. Um, so that's one exciting thing. Done and dandy. Cap'n is here for a reason. Gar, what in the deep blue? Do me peepers peep our new veyer? Name of this? Oh, ya ha ha. Old Tortimer left a whale of a job for me to a wee minnow. Nah, don't pay me no mind. I be known as Cap'n. I ferry folks across the briny deep to the island and back in me boat. If you fancy yourself an ocean voyage to the island, why not hustle over here, ye weep shrimp sandwich? 
What's that? If you want to head, yeah, it's a thousand bells. That's why I was like, thank God we have a thousand bells available. So, you know, we might as well just head right now. Um, I'm going in the most fuck ass outfit <laughs> off to Tortimer's Island for the first time, but this, I would argue, is one of the best features in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I feel like you talk to anybody who's played New Leaf in the past, they would tell you Tortimer's Island's amazing. And it's such a shame that it's not in New Horizons because I feel like for a lot of people, the replay value comes from this feature. Cabin Islands are great, but we want gameplay. That's just it. We want gameplay. Um, Captain is here singing. I didn't make note of that because there's really no point. I have a nice face. I don't know who told you that, but we're just gonna, we're gonna just, yeah, okay. We don't need to hear the rest of that song. Thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. And here we are for the first time we have made it to Captain's Island and what a great day to come. There's a wetsuit here. This is the only place in New Leaf where you're able to get wetsuits. How fitting I got this one too. This is the one that matches the little logo in your pockets. That's fun. Uh, so quick rundown. This is Cap'n's mom. She's in charge of the shop here. This is Cap'n's wife, a baddie. She's in charge of something that we'll get to. And this is a waste of time. First things first, the more fun thing. Let's just get this out of the way. We have the trop. Oh. Does it get cloudy here? I've never, wait, whoa, I've never seen it be cloudy over here. Interesting, I was, oh, I've never, okay. Um. So this is like the little back area to Tortimer's Islands. As you can see, it's always set to summertime. Don't let the bad weather fool you. Is that a grasshopper? Oh yeah. Right, I play, I, I'm not used to coming here in the daytime. I always love to come in the nighttime for um, a reason that I will explain. You can come here to catch any summertime bugs or fishes or deep sea critters. Um, and since it's set to summertime, you know, if you come later in the night, the rare beetles like the golden stag and everything are available. And that's the best way to make your bells in this game. And yeah, speaking of, I never, never come in the nighttime. So <laughs> like I never, or sorry, I never come in the daytime. Um, so forgive me for being thrown off by that grasshopper. I'm not used to seeing a grasshopper over here. Um, but yeah, also fun thing, these tropical fruits, you either get coconuts or bananas on your palm trees over here. Bananas used to be in the game. And then on the land up here, I have lemons, as you can see, which is fun, but you can also get mangoes, durians, and there's one more, right? There is one more. I don't remember what the other one is, but you can get that as well. So that's that. Um, there's also two hibiscus bushes over here and here. Uh, sadly, I would love to dig them up to bring them back to my island, but I can't do that because in this game, if you dig up bushes, dig up flowers, or um, dig up, well, you can't dig up trees, they die. Fun fact. New Horizons was the first game where you were actually able to dig up fruit and preserve them. I'm not gonna carry too many fruits with me um, because like I said, you are able to bring these back with you. Uh, we'll just bring a few for now. We'll also catch some bugs, why not? This is the quickest way to get all your summertime bugs for the museum. So do with that what you will. I'm also gonna grab this agrius butterfly. The bugs in this game in general, oh my gosh, right. Cause I'm playing in the winter time. So like now we can actually see bugs. We've barely gotten any. <laughs> like, look at this. We got a rice grasshopper. Or no, this is a migratory locust. That's cute. We saw some butterflies flying around as well. Um, here's another locust right here. Hello. Got it. Oh my God, it almost died. This is a grasshopper. <laughs> I got them swapped, but they count. Cute, cute, fun, fun. Any other fun bugs? Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. Um, This is the Queen Alexandria's bird wing, but in this game, it's just called the bird wing butterfly. How fun. Not as big as it is in New Horizons, obviously. Uh, another Agrius. I don't need to catch that. Ooh, there's a stag beetle right over here. The first of many. 
and I caught it with ease. The Miami Stag. So many brand new critters. This is exciting. This is fun. We're not really here right now to make some bells, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll get to that later on. Oh, got it. I wonder which one it is. Ooh, a puffer fish. A cutie. Yep, she's adorable. All right, let's just spend, I'm gonna just spend some time doing some critter catching, if you will, and then we shall move on from there. All right, so in order to bring these items back, cause as you can see, very limited space. So you're probably thinking like, how are you able to make that much money? Um, this basket right here is what you use to bring the items back. There's 40 slots available. Um, yeah, so you're able to bring back up to 40 items. That's fun, cute and dandy. I'm just gonna organize these bugs accordingly. Let's put all the butterflies first. There's literally no reason for me to make this all organized. They're all going straight to the museum. <laughs> all right, with those in hand, we might as well talk to Leilani. Okay, sorry, I forgot her name for a second. Ahoy there, lad. You be this from Nook Tits, don't you? Heard all about you from Mr. Tortorer, I did. Welcome to the islands, Yar. Here at the counter, you can sign up for a tour of a tropical island. We also got some informational pamphlets over there, so take a peep at them if you want. Or if you're feeling lazy, just relax and take a load off. Thank you, thank you, Leilani. I'm here right now because this, I think, is one of my favorite things from Tortimer's Islands. There's actual mini games. Actual mini games that you're able to do um, and which ones do we have? Yes, yes, we have hide and seek. Okay, this is the one I wanted. This is my favorite one for sure. There's also currently available a balloon hunt, ore hunting and shellfish free for all. There's also like bug catching tournaments and fishing tourneys as well that you're able to do and like deep sea diving related ones as well and scavenger hunts. That was the other one I was hoping to do today. That's another fun one where you have to actually go and like look for items in the houses. Okay, we're gonna do the hide and seek one because this is like one of my favorite mini games from older Animal Crossing games. It's not in New Horizons. I don't know why they got rid of that one. I think it's because there's so many more items on your island. So it would be a lot more complex to find your villagers, but hide and seek was easily one of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing growing up. We're gonna do it for the video right now. Of course we are, of course we are. Hey there, Whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the easy hide and seek tour. You guessed it, we're going to play some good old fashioned hide and seek. This is good, wholesome fun. Unlike those newfangled space age video games you play. Shut up, boomer. Anyway, there are four animals hiding somewhere on the island. All you gotta do is find them. If you can find all of them within eight minutes, you get some shiny medals. All right, get ready, get set, go. Yeah, so like he said, there's eight minutes to find four villagers and you notice that this is the easy round of hide and seek. Um, the harder the round gets, the less time there is. That's all there is for hide and seek. Also, yes, you saw I just grabbed mangoes. Um, that's another, ooh, 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 is this who I think it is? Is this our IBS king? Yes, it's Lionel, oh my God. Look at him just chilling here. Yeah, so these villagers that spawn are random. But yeah, these mangoes, I'm collecting them right now because this is the other way to get other tropical fruits to bring onto your islands. It's by doing these tour things right here. So just like that, we have lemons, coconuts, and mangoes available to go. That's fun indeed. Now we gotta find our villagers. Um, also, you get like a little sneak peek at another public works project. This is the lighthouse. It's one that you're able to unlock. I guess I should share the way to unlock things. Um, it's just by talking to your villagers. You saw how they ping you. Um, yeah, they'll ping you one time and be like, oh, you know what this town needs? A bench. Or you know what this town needs? A sphinx cat and a lighthouse. What? Okay, interesting. Who the fuck designed this? <laughs> Why is there a lighthouse and a sphinx just up here in the north? Okay. And another lighthouse. Why are there so many lighthouses? And what is it doing all the way up here? I don't, I don't know. Um, we need to find the vill- Oh, ow. That better not be who the fuck I think it is. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't talk to me. Nuts, you got me. Nuts is what I'm gonna kick, the ones on your body. If you try and speak to me again, Curly, get the fuck away from me. I say that as I'm walking away from him. 
All right, we found two villagers. There's a lot, a lot of trees um, to make this shit a lot harder than it needs to be. Is this a villager? No, that's just, a, that was a bug. I thought that was a villager, my bad. Um, they don't hide inside buildings, by the way. If you were wondering, if you try to go inside, it won't let you. Um, and yeah, so it doesn't look like they're behind any of the buildings this time around or the public works projects. That's why there's a bunch of them around. You're able to hide behind those as well. So it looks like we're gonna have to spend some time looking behind trees. Um, here's another Sphinx. Interesting. Hello. I don't see anybody. Oh, is that Wendy? Oh my God. Yes, it's Wendy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the houses that are spawned are like the actual houses of the villagers that are hiding. At least some of them because there's five of them. Because like I recognized one of those houses from before and I was like, it's Wendy's house. So I was like, that was prob Wendy was probably hiding. I'm realizing right now, I don't think I've searched this area yet. Uh, I was hoping I could get like a villager behind um, a public works project instead. Like, because so, they'll hide behind the public works project, but like you'll see them clearly. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Are they back here? I'm like trying to think. Like, they're definitely behind a tree at this rate. There's no way they're behind anything else because there's literally nothing else to hide behind, behind besides trees. Uh, so we're going to have to actually like spend some time looking it seems uh i don't see them where are they at where the fuck are they it should not take me this long this is the easy round the easy round you get so much time to look for these villagers and they're just not here is it back here no oh found them oh my gosh is that aurora yes finally i found them oh thank god uh and just like that game over you found them all. Nice work. It wasn't a stellar performance, but you got the job done. Here's your reward. Two medals. Oop. Sorry. I didn't mean to click that. Here's your reward. Two medals. Uh, yeah. So you get medals based on your performance. For hide and seek, it's based on how quickly you can find them. I think if you find them in less than two minutes, you get the most amount of medals. And speaking of medals, you're probably wondering what they're for. Well, they're for these items right over here. This is... Okay, we gotta sit through a fucking dialogue again. This is Grams. Don't be sneaking up on an old woman like that. Does it look like I'm sneaking up on you, girl? I'm not even facing you. And that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Neither are you. Um, so maybe shush. This is Cap'n's mother, by the way. And the wetsuit is something that you can't find in the big city, like she said. And it requires 40 medals. Right. 40 medals. I think the max medals you're able to get from a game is six. So do the math. <laughs> all right. So we did the hide and seek one. We might as well just try them all out today. Let's do the balloon hunt next. That could be fun. Hey there, whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the easy balloon hunt tour. I hope your aim is good because it's time to pop some balloons. And it's also good that I'm doing this because we get to see how the slingshot works in this game because we're not able to unlock. Um, yeah, so we're just popping down balloons. That's all we're doing. They're going to be balloon presents. And like he said, regular balloons are one point. Um, oh, and they actually show on the map too. That's good. I forgot about that. Oh, they're just balloons in this game, right? They literally got rid of the presents. So these are the regular red balloons. They cost one point. Hello, there it is. Um, oh, it's four balloons right there. Are there gonna be any more? Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're all the way over there, right? They The direction changes, so. All right, these are just like regular balloons so far. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm standing in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm here, while we wait for those balloons, you're probably wondering what, what Lloyd's doing here. Thank you for coming. I'm lending out various items to help support your playtime. Yeah, you're basically able to just get tools. Um, you'll notice there's like bugs spawned everywhere. You are able to catch the bugs and bring them back to the island. So if you see a rare bug that you'd like, you can pick it up. You can also get flowers as well. If you just pick them up, you're able to plant them back on your towns as well. And the fruit, like I already showed. Ooh, 
Ooh, finally. Okay, on the map there, you see the bunny balloon. I think it's this one. Yes, the bunny is worth three points. So definitely try to pop those down if you want. I suggest doing it because that's how you can get the, mo the most amount of points. Oh God, oh my God, the balloons are all the way over there. Oh God, girl, we gotta run. <laughs> we gotta run now. Where are they? Hello? It's so weird because these balloons travel in like diagonal directions instead. Oh uh, my God, and the other balloons are up here. Can I pop them down without having to cross the bridge? Here's one, pop. Those ones are above the river. Okay, but we could still pop them. That's good. Ooh. And last one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The balloons are spawning now, bitch. Oh God. Oh God. Pop. Pop. Okay. Yeah, you may notice as well. Controls in this game, a lot slower than they are in New Horizons. I think overall gameplay wise, um, if we just had <laughs> that style, like things were just a lot more. Oh my God. There's balloons coming from every direction. Things were just a lot more streamlined, like they were in New Horizons. I would definitely enjoy the game a lot more. Uh, I think especially now that I've played New Horizons, like I can admit that I'm definitely spoiled. Like there's certain things from New Horizons that I miss. Um, the fluidity being one of them. More balloons, oh my gosh. <laughs> God, the balloons are just coming now, aren't they? I'm going after the other ones though, because those are, those are, uh, those have bunnies. Can I please get the bunny balloon though? Oh God, where is it? Hello? Did it fly over the thing yet? Pop, all right, I just wanted to pop the bunny. <laughs> oh God, and the wind keeps changing directions too. Ah, oh, crap, this is getting stressful. Oop, nope, I can't pop that one anymore. Um. Ah, uh, these ones are about to fly over the cliff. Where are they? Hello, hello, oh. I don't think I even got those. Oh crap. Oh, got that one. That's good. Here's another one. Pop. 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 Other things that I'm spoiled by though with New Horizons. I was, I forgot I was talking about that. <laughs> Pocket spaces. That's like the most important one. Like the fact that we only get 16 in this game. Obviously I understand the need for the improvement in, in New Horizons because duh. Um, in New Horizons, you get more items in general, like crafting materials and stuff. Um, but still, like you saw how many times I've had to like clean out my pockets because they were full in this game. So I'm so, because I just forget that like your pocket spaces are so little in this game compared to New, Le or New Horizons, sorry. Ugh. All right, can I pop one more balloon before the time runs out? Please, 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 please. Yes, all right. We hit 45 balloons. Uh, I mean, that's double what Tortimer asked us to pop. So I think I deserve a good reward for that one. And your final score is 45 points. Wow, you must really hate balloons. Please accept this gold Tortimer award and six medals. See, yeah, six medals max. So that puts us at a total now of eight medals. We need 32 more. So that's math that we need to do. Basically, if you get perfect scores on all four of them twice, that will be 40 medals. So let's try the hide and seek tour once again and actually try to like get a better score. Uh, they give you eight minutes. So I think you have to find it within two minutes to get a gold score, right? I think so. I think it's two, but I, it might be three. I'm gonna try and give myself two minutes though. We need to challenge ourselves. Let's make things more fun. All right, it's the exact same rules as last time. Get ready, get set, go. Bam. Ooh, yeah, see map layout completely different this time. So let's just start up here. Oh, and immediately, oh, immediately of course we have to find pack. Great, what a great start. Beautiful start. Let's actually come in with a strategy. Ooh, we have durians. Hold on, I can take a quick bake to um, pick some up. I love the durians. Yes, I do. Uh, all right, let's like do a little up and down mechanic. Oh, see, smart, smart. This is Frank. Just like that, we already found two villagers in 30 seconds. That's definitely an improvement. 
Um, so let's just go up and down, making like, you know, good progress, I think, by doing this. Ooh, ooh, oh my God, it's Miss Chrissy in like the worst hiding spot ever. Like, girl, you're not even hiding behind the windmill. What is, what is going on there? All right, but just like that though, we already found three villagers. It, ugh, but it doesn't look like we're gonna find them in two minutes. I don't think I'm gonna find somebody in six seconds. No. So maybe the theory is three minutes. Maybe if I find them within three minutes, we'll be good. <laughs> There's a house up here. Hopefully the villager that we need to find is behind this house. Please let him be behind this house. No, that's fine. Oh God, here we go once again. The final villager. It's going to take me forever to find them, isn't it? Oh, crap. Where have I not looked yet? I haven't looked in, like, this general area down here because I just made, like, a beeline for the other side of the river. So, hopefully they're somewhere here. Um, hello? <laughs> they're going to be behind the most random tree and, like, the most inconvenient spot once again. Like, the one spot that I just keep forgetting to look behind. Maybe they're down here. Oh, crap. We're, like, well over three minutes now. I'm, like, destroying all these flowers. I don't even care anymore. Um. 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 I should have done another tour <laughs> before this one. Crap. Oh, found them. Oh, my gosh. It's cut. Ha, you found me. Pretty good, Viz. How the fuck do you know my name already? Sir, don't be talking to me like that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Peck and Kyle on the same island, too. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Oh. Oh. Okay, so never mind. That was fast. That was really fast. Oh, we still got seven medals for that. That's good. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Peck. I guess. That was a lot better. Hey there, whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the Easy Ore Hunter. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this island here is littered with rocks. Inside the rocks lies extremely valuable ore. So what you need to do, use your shovels to smash open the rocks and find the ore. Rocks that won't break don't have any ore inside them, so don't waste your time on those. Each piece of aura is worth one point, but sapphire is worth three points. Shout out to Sephira Crystal. And if you get, oh, there, he actually tells you. If you get 12 points in four minutes, you'll be rewarded with medals. That's the minimum score. So I'm assuming the max score to get seven or six medals is probably 24. Now, where the hell are these rocks? That's a normal rock. That's also a normal rock. Wow, what a great start. Here's another one. That's a normal rock as well. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Finally, a sapphire. <laughs> oh. Oh, two sapphires. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I actually have to give the medals back or do I just keep them in my pockets? I think, yeah, I think you just keep them in your pockets. I don't remember. <laughs> Cause like there's no point racking system right now. So interesting. I know some of these, it just requires you collecting items. Um, so we'll see, I guess we just have to collect 16 ores and hope that most of them are sapphires in order to get the most points. So I guess if you break open a bunch of rocks, you're guaranteed at least 16 points regardless of what the ore he wants you to get is. That's good, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh my God, pick up the fucking gold. <laughs> Why are you wasting your time filling in the holes? Did I, did I even tell you to do that? Like, I didn't even tell you to do that. Ugh. How many do we have currently? Uh, That's a number. I think that was 10. <laughs> so we only, we can only get six more. As of now, that's why I'm like, do I actually, cause I know like there's some games where you have to like drop them in a specific area in order for it to count. Like the flower, the gardening one. I don't remember this one at all. If it's not obvious, I don't really remember. It's been a very long time since I played New Leaf. So forgive me, please. Where are the other rocks even? Hello? Oh, there's two, three more. Well, <laughs> the way these spawned, very cursed. All right. Oh my God, stop digging up the fucking holes. Like, what? <laughs> time and place. Ooh. That's another silver. I think I've gotten all the sapphires available. 
on the island. It doesn't look like there's any more. There also might not even be any more rocks available. Because I highly doubt there's going to be one over here. Okay. I think I've hit all the rocks. That's why I'm, like, so confused. My pockets aren't full yet. Um... I can't remember. Oh, did I hit this one? No. There's one more left. Uh, did I hit this one? I think I did. Um... Have I looked in this general vicinity? I don't think so. Oh. Got one. I think that's it. Like, is there really only 16? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a sapphire. So we're definitely gonna replace one that we already have. Uh, let's replace, we could replace any of these. Uh, let's not do the gold, let's, it, it doesn't fucking matter. Replace the amethyst. Sorry, amethyst, I'm replacing you with Saphira Crystal. Oh, another amethyst, we don't need her. She was second out. Oh my God, there's so many rocks here. How did I miss all of these? And none of them are useful to me. Oh, and I think I already hit these. How did I, wait, yeah. <laughs> How did I miss these? There was a bunch right over here the entire time. And I just completely walked right past them. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't look like there's any more rocks that we can hit. And there's only five seconds left. I guess that's it. Game over. That was a hoot. Let's take a gander at the results. The total worth of your ore is 24 points. Hey, I actually managed to do double. Nice. You got enough points to win six medals. Thanks for joining us on the Shellfish Free For All Tour. Just as the name of this tour implies, you're gonna go free diving for shellfish. I just realized that this is now our introduction to deep sea diving in the game for the first time. Animal Crossing New Leaf was the game to introduce deep sea diving for anyone curious. Why the fuck would you start me all the way here? We are nowhere near the water. What the hell? Bananas. Oh my God. We saw Saphira Crystal in the last game and here we have Nymphia win with the bananas. Hello, pick them up. Animal Crossing New Leaf said season 16 rights and I agree, I totally agree. Also another fun thing, um, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Why did they get rid of that animation from New Horizons? Once again, I don't know. But yeah, if you played New Horizons, which I'm assuming most of you have, if you watch my channel, um, Diving works exactly the same way. So there's really no need for me to give you a tutorial. Um, yeah, you just press Y, dive down, and swim, and catch the thing. It better be a shellfish. That is not a shellfish. Oh, it is. Abalones are shellfish? Do abalones come in shells? I guess so. I don't know. What the fuck is an abalone? I don't know. Um, oh, that fish just died. A turban shell, nice. And then here's another little fishy thing right here. Oh, it disappeared. Rude. Once again, there's a big one right over here. This better be a good one to catch. I'm gonna catch the small one first. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh, a pearl oyster. Fancy. All right, come on, big fish, please. Please let me catch you. Please let me catch, oh my God, why do they keep disappearing on me? Ooh, ooh, I can show this off. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. Y'all see that jellyfish right over there? Um, It disappeared. Are you kidding me? Why do these things keep disappearing? Stop. It's too fast, it's too fast. No, <laughs> I was so close. That's so rude. And it swam over the sea thing, so I can't even get it. Ugh. So far out of the four that I've played, I hate this one the most. I will not be replaying, and I will be giving it a bad review on Yelp. Oh, there's another one. Please don't swim away from me. Thank you. No, it swam away. Excuse me. Thank you. Got it. It is another abalone. It's an ear shell. Why do I keep calling it an abalone? Oh, no wonder I was confused. It's a completely different item. <laughs> and here's another one. Wabam. Ooh, a clam. Clam chowder. Oh, okay, wait. I don't really care about getting enough points. I just want to show this off. Look, this is a jellyfish. Um, <laughs> and they can sting you. What? <laughs> For what reason? I don't know. It works basically similar to the pitfalls. Um, you get stung, you have to press A a bunch of times, and then you move on. You don't even have to pee on your wound. 
to heal from it. So that's helpful, I guess. Just one fish and we've seen so many, so this shouldn't be so difficult. You see, as I was saying that, I already found one. Another pearl oyster. Great. Great indeed. Let's see if we can make it lucky number seven now. Ooh, we actually might be able to. <gasps> we can. Yes. All right. That's another turban shell. Release it. No, 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 I was right there. I was right there. I could have made it eight. Ugh, that's fine. That's fine. You found seven of your target items. Incredible. You earned a gold Tortimer Island award. I still ate. It's okay. I didn't get eight points, but I still ate and got the max amount of rewards. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. <gasps> oh my god. Ew. Oh, it's Teddy. The first Fallbrook resident of New Leaf. He looks so weird in New Leaf. I forgot. He looks so much more baby. Wait, that was cute. Yeah, I just did a couple more rounds of hide and seek because I know I was complaining about it, but I can't lie. It's still one of my favorite ones in the game. So yeah, I did that. And um, fun fact, I have officially earned 40 medals, which means we can buy the black wetsuit. Yay. I can manage grams. Don't be telling me how to do shit. I already know how to do shit. And she put it in the box for us so we can access it as soon as we get back to the mainland. Which speaking of, so this basket is now full of all the critters that we've caught, including the fruit. Uh, so let's empty it out real quick. I'm gonna first grab all the fruit and more importantly, the wetsuit. I'll come back for the other things later. Um, I'm just gonna leave all the fruit just on the ground because, you know, like I said, we can plant them later and we shall put the other ones over here by retail. I'll be planting these as well, but for now, I shall do this. Fun fact, before we end off the day, I would like to show off the wetsuit real quick. This outfit that I'm wearing is just getting even more cursed. Um, but yeah, with the wetsuit, we are able to go diving and if I time this correctly, woo, oh. If I time this correctly, woo. <laughs> we can go diving properly. All right, uh, let's just do a quick swim. I don't remember which critters are available in winter time, but Yep, this is how the diving works in this game. Um, in this game, it's actually pretty limited because, you know, if you look at the map, you only have ocean on two sides of your town rather than all four like you did in New Horizons. Doesn't look like there's any critters. Ooh, I guess one more thing I can show though. We don't have to go deep sea diving now. You already saw how it worked. Um, so you'll notice with this beach, specifically with this town, uh, the way the river's laid out, I, have just a tiny little beach all the way at the top over here. Sometimes you're able to get your slope on two different beaches, depending on where your river waterfall thing is. But because, you know, my waterfall is all the way up here, there's no way to access that beach unless you have a wetsuit, which I do, fun fact. So I'm able to come up here and you have access to like this little mini island right here cute little detail um you're not really able to do much in terms of decorating you can only put flowers and fruit trees um well and by fruit trees i mean coconuts and bananas that's it <laughs> so you know if that was available at new horizons uh i mean i guess it technically is but you know if you just like fence things off correctly you could do that um so i'm gonna stop yapping now and before we finish off for the day we're gonna say hi to Julian because we actually haven't seen inside his house yet. Ooh. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. This is so city folk core. Oh, that face of yours. Are you tired, Vis? I come to your house. 
And the first thing you're going to tell me is that I'm looking tired? Perhaps you should take a break for a while, Glitter. Okay. Okay, Julian. I see how it is. <laughs> how goes it this? If I may be so bold, you're looking as cool as a fair number of cucumber. Okay, so you're going to first tell me I'm tired and now you're going to fucking flirt with me? What's the vibe here, Julian? Make up your mind. According to the fortune teller, Katrina, your fortune changes every day. She says you can slightly change your luck if you carry a lucky item on either lucky or unlucky days. Lucky days will be even better, but days with bad luck will be totally neutralized by the lucky item. I'd like to increase my luck and love. You're gonna... Okay, Julian, sending so many signals as of right now. Ooh, stale cupcakes. Um, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. I think it's better we just do that. I don't, I don't need to. Just... Ugh, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, I know who that is. Oh, finally, he's standing up. So I think I could do it now. No, no, I wanted to dance in front of the thing. I think I have to come in the nighttime for that. Okay, never mind. I can finally sit in Harvey's chair, though. Cute. <laughs> I love that I have to hunch over because the chair is a lot smaller. Oh, my God. And he's judging me for sitting in his chair. I'm sorry. I'll leave. We are going to whoop our way into this van you're looking at the color scheme you can probably recognize who it is it's franklin everybody's favorite chef ah, these are your stomping grounds is that right well thanks for having me never forget that traumatic day on fallbrook and cook it. great things always take time but i felt right at home here in an instant it was wonderful do you think this means that i should give instant potatoes another chance no I, one thing about me, I hate instant potatoes. Uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. What song does he play? KK Country. Um, let's scare him. Bam. <laughs> Poor Franklin. I think this was the first game that stopped the whole vor mechanic, if you will. <laughs> but this was the last game with the, fr um, with the Turkey Day items. We can actually see some of them available because the holiday items in older games were a lot different. For Turkey Day, you get the harvest set which is the harvest wall, the harvest rug. This is the chair. It's a turkey foot, yes. And the clock and the wall lamp. And that's all you're able to get. You're able to get the rest of them through um, the actual event when it happens. I'm gonna buy myself another plant, cause duh. Although I wish I got the kitchen island and the refrigerator though, especially the kitchen island. Yeah, that's always an item I like to get to decorate with my house cause I think it's one of the best kitchen items. Um. Yeah, holiday items in the older games. Some of them were weird, like the Harvest Fest ones. I wasn't really a fan of them because turkey feet, weird concept to me, but there were a lot of other ones that I really liked. I loved the Toy Day ones, the Jingles series and the Spooky series as well. Jack's things with the pumpkin face. That was always one that I loved. And... The Bunny Day series. I liked the Bunny Day series one only because they were worth 9,000 bells each and they were the easiest ones to farm because you farm them the same way you would in New Horizons. The only difference being instead of the recipes, you get the actual items um, instead of the eggs, I should say. Uh, just talking to Isabel real quick to see. Yeah, we met the collection goal and that's really it, right? She doesn't do anything else. Okay. <laughs> I think we're just going to leave it off there. 